Hi everybody, welcome back to Bubble Pop Kids. If you guys love lip gloss and lip balm as much as I do, you are going to be in for such a treat. As you can see, I went shopping. I went shopping for tons of new lip glosses and balms for my collection. I found so many good ones. So, so many good ones. All of these are completely new to me. I've never actually seen most of them. Look at these little macaron cookies. I found three of the Baby Lips Balm Balls, all different colors, kind of a peachy one, a red, and a pink. Hershey Kisses, Little Claire's, everything you could think of. So what do you guys see? We look at all of these one at a time, and then we are gonna organize and put all of those cute little lip balms and glosses into this organizing tray. It's super plain now, but just wait when it has all those colorful lip products. It's gonna look so cute. Alrighty, we gotta get this going. So many different things to look at here. What do you guys see? We look at all the candy ones first. And when I say candy, I seriously mean candy. Would you look at these? We have a Bubble Yum double-sided flavor lip gloss. I think it has, ooh, cotton candy and the original one. We have Twizzlers. I've never seen one of these before. It's got strawberry and watermelon. Then I found this amazing little Reese's peanut butter cup. This is like a liquid gloss. It's got these little floaties in there. Oh, this is my ultimate favorite candy. It's gonna smell so good. And then I found these little Hershey Kiss flavored lip gloss. We get cherry cordial, chocolate, and special dark. Start with some bubble yum. Ooh, this is so pretty. I have so many different bubble yum chapstick ones, but I've never seen a gloss stick like this. A really cute package, and it looks super shimmery. I don't know if it's gonna be clear or give us color. Most of the time they're clear, ooh. So this is the original. This is the cotton candy gum. So, so sparkly. Look at that pretty color. See? Yep, it's just clear. Like most lip glosses and balms are, but really glossy, shiny. Wow, this smells exactly like a piece of gum. It's amazing. I know my little chapstick ones don't smell as good as this. This is really strong. And for the cotton candy. Sure, it's gonna be clear too. Ooh, it has a little bit of a blue tint to it. Oh, this smells so good. This smells a little bit better. This smells more like a sugar cookie or something really buttery. But I like them both. Such a cute one. right along to the Twizzlers. Mm, I love Twizzlers. My favorite movie candy. And we have strawberry and watermelon. Actually, I don't think I've ever tried a watermelon Twizzler, but I'm sure they have them. They have them in basically every color. <laughs> so here we go. Ooh, look at this. I love how one is always a little bit more sparkly. The red one looks like it would give some color. And the red is strawberry flavored. Ooh, it does. Just a glossy reddish color. I really like it. Ah, smells so good. It doesn't smell like your regular strawberry gloss. It has like a really sweet scent, almost like a corn syrup scent. It's really, really sweet. It smells like Twizzlers. And for the watermelon side, this sparkly, sparkly green. Ah, that smells even better. It's so good. It smells super fresh, not as sweet. It smells like you just cut open a watermelon watermelon juice and you can see it has a little bit of a greenish tint to it with all of the sparkles but so far I'm loving the reddish one some Reese's and a couple days ago I did a chocolate bonanza and I had like the biggest Reese's peanut butter cup in the world it was like a half pound it was huge so delicious <laughs> so I am in like Reese's mode right now when I saw this I just had to get it and I have a couple other Reese's little lip balms but none of them look like this but look how cool that is it's kind of clear it looks like it's got little chocolates and peanut butters floating around so cool to look at and I'm sure it's going to smell like peanut butter. Cannot wait. Ooh, this one's really glossy. This is almost like a lip gloss oil. Ugh. <laughs> you guys, 
I am in love with peanut butter cups, but this smells like pure peanut oil, like peanut oil you would cook with. It's so, so strong of peanuts. It's not very sweet, doesn't smell like chocolate. I don't know, it smells like the strongest peanut butter in the world, and it's not exactly the scent I would love to have on my lips during the day. So for the package, I think it's amazing, looks really cute, but I do not like the smell of this one. There she kisses, here we go. We have a three pack, three different flavors. Wow, I didn't even know they had three different flavors. Cherry Cordial, we have the regular plain chocolate, and Special Dark. Let's open this. This is such a cute little box, and those, seriously, they look like real candies. Oop, just pop them out. So one, two, three, and I'm wondering if it comes with like, woo, a little lip gloss stick in there. Hmm. Nope. I have three little chocolate glosses, and I'm pretty sure this one is a special dark. So all you have to do is just pop out the bottom, and there is your gloss. <laughs> it looks like there is melted chocolate inside. Looks so, so good. Oh, it's making me want chocolate right now. And for the color, ooh, it's kind of, it looks brown in here, but when you put it on your skin, it has more of like a sparkly purple. It's a really pretty color. Smells so good. This has to be the dark chocolate. I've also had these before and they come with a little lip gloss applicator, but for some reason these didn't come with it, which is fine. I always like to use my finger anyways. Here is the original Kiss and it's going to be milk chocolate flavored. Ooh, look at that one. That is the same color actually. <laughs> it's the same exact color. Ooh, but it's got a little bit more of a brownish tint to it. Oh, smells so good. Just smells like a melted chocolate. And there's also shimmery sparkles in this one too, so it's not this flat color. Ooh, <laughs> it looks like I have candy melted all over my hands. And the third one is the cherry cordial. Ooh, same color. It smells different though one definitely has a little bit of a cherry scent to it. it kind of smells like cherry coke or soda really sweet same exact color and I do not mind the color because on your lips it kind of looks like a purplish pink I really like that and who would not want these cute little shaped ones in their collection There are all the candy ones, Reese's, Twizzlers, Bubble Yum, and Kisses. I loved all of them except the Reese's. <laughs> I will never wear the scent on my lips. It was so peanutty and so strong. It did give a pretty glossy look, but ugh, I just could not take that scent. And you guys can leave me a comment and let me know out of all of these, which one was your fave? Always in the mood for a little baby lips. I have four of them here. They're all different, different colors. And three of them are the bomb balls. I have seen these out for a long time and I never got them. So excited to find them at Walmart yesterday. And I also got this one here. It's kind of different. Usually the cap is clear and you can see the lip balm. This one is kind of different. Ooh, it's glow balm. <laughs> what does that mean? Does it glow in the dark? Gotta test these. And we'll start with this one because it had such a pretty and deep red color. It's called Bit of Berry. And it's a baby lips bomb ball. Cannot wait. These have the cutest shapes to them. I just love them. Look at that. And let's twist it open. Ooh, there's the cap. Here is your bomb. So curious if it's gonna give color. Ooh, it does. I am loving this. Look at that color. I thought it was gonna be red, but it's not. It's kind of like a pinkish, reddish color, like a cherry color. It smells really good too. It's called Bit of Berry, and it really does smell like berries. So good, and I love how smooth this glides on. Look at that color. It's almost like a really, really sheer lipstick. Cutest container ever. This one up, we get the bomb ball. Pretty in peach. Ooh, this one is definitely a different color. 
looks a little bit lighter. You can tell the difference. The writing on the little package is different. They're just too, too cute for words. I think I like these more than the original baby lips. Those were kind of plain looking. Ooh, look at that. So pretty, kind of looks pearly too. And as soon as you touch it, you could see all of that gloss. This one is super light, not as dark as the other one, but it definitely has a color to it. It has a peachy, pinkish color, and this is a kind that I wear every single day. Because I don't like my lips super dark during the day, I just like them a little glossy with a pink tint, and this does the job. Another good one. Third and final bomb ball is the Pout in Pink color. Ooh, I hope this is kind of dark. Looks like a super hot pink. Let's see. Love twist in the cap. Such a clever idea how they did this. Ooh, there it is. Now when you first see it, it's kind of matte and chalky looking, but as soon as you touch it, oh, it gets so glossy. Love that. Actually, <laughs> this looks like the lightest of all three of the colors. I'm kind of surprised. Here we go. You do get kind of a hot pink clear tint, very, very sheer. And it's not as dark as I thought it would be, but I still love it. it smells really good too. Ooh, the other one I forgot to tell you, it smells just like peaches and cream. Really good. This one, it smells like strawberries. And the color, I do like it. I'm super impressed with these. I love the containers, I love the sheer colors. Can't go wrong with them. and final baby lips of the video is here and it has that classic baby lips kind of packaging except it's not clear looks super different it says my pink glow bomb with lightweight luminous oils Ooh, i'm kind of confused is this glowing is it glow in the dark i don't know let's try it such a cute package though look at this it's kind of like an ombre it goes from dark pink to light it's got the silver on there here it is. Ooh, pretty light pink color. Looks like a cotton candy pink. Mmm, smells like bubble gum. <laughs> I was expecting it to smell like strawberry or something like that. It smells like candy, bubble gum, cotton candy. I don't know, it's really sweet. So here is the color. Ooh, it has a pretty tint to it actually. It looks super light, but if you look on my skin, it turns up darker than the actual baby bomb balls darker than this one. I love it. And I'm kind of dim in the lights. It's actually not glowing. I think it means like makes your lips glow and look pretty instead of glow in the dark, but that would have been super, super cool. But nope, it's not glowing. It's staying pretty in pink. Here's another look at the beautiful package it comes in. Really different than the other baby lips. I love that color. I never expected it to come out so bright and kind of like hot pink really good. Here's all four of them and after testing all these baby lips today I have to say I'm really surprised but my favorite color and tint was this one. It looked really light but it gave a pretty hot pink sheer tone. Yeah my second favorite is this reddish one. You guys can leave me a comment and let me know out of all of these which one you liked. Macaron anybody? We have some macaron cookies. Three of them and let me tell you these things are huge. I've had macaroon lip glosses before. They were like this big. This is like five times the size of those. They are so cute and they come in the most amazing scent. The three pack here, we get coffee latte, chocolate cream, and passion fruit. Ooh, <laughs> I can't wait to smell the coffee one. They are so bright and cute looking. I've actually never heard of this brand before either. It's called Max Makeup Cherry Moya. Ooh, such a cute package. And I actually picked up three more of these in different colors. So on my next Lip Balm Bonanza, I'm gonna show you the other ones. I think they were like blue, kind of a peachy one, and white. There they are, our cute little cookies. And they really do look like macaroons. They really, really do. 
They have that little cherry Moya stamp on there, kind of cute. And as soon as I took these out of the box, woo, the smell hit me. They are so, so sweet. They smell just like cookies. Here's the first one up. It's a really pretty, like a fuchsia color. And I'm guessing you just twist the top here for the bomb. Whoa. I was not expecting it to look like that. I thought it would be kind of light or white. It's such a deep color, like a fuchsia purplish one. And it looks so, so glossy. Would you look at that? Whoa. Oh, smells too, too good. It smells so fresh and fruity. Smells like jam or kind of like grape jelly. <laughs> Loving it. Doesn't give any color, but it gives such a pretty, pretty glossy shine. So good. That was a real surprise. I never thought they would be so sweet and moisturizing. Sometimes lip balms that look really cute are kind of dry, but not this one. Second one up is yellow. Ooh, this one looks so, so good. I've had macarons that look just like this. I don't know how they got such a realistic look to that. And I'm thinking this is the coffee one. Oh, look at that yellow. I gave it a little smell and it is. Wow. And when you look at something like this, you think it's going to be lemon or pineapple, like a fruity one, but it isn't. It smells like coffee with cream and sugar. Amazing. This is definitely going to be my favorite one. So, so good. It's just clear like a regular gloss or balm, but it just the smell is just too good for words. And with this cute little case, <laughs> you just can't go wrong with these. What a cute little purse accessory. Third one is this turquoise kind of minty color. And you would think this would be like a mint scent, but it's supposed to be chocolate cream. <laughs> And chocolate cream looks like green jelly or mint jelly. Oh, this one is even better. Woo! I thought the coffee one was good. This one is beating it. So chocolatey and creamy. Smells almost like the Hershey Kisses one. I don't know how they did that. Mm, really good on your lips. And this is such a thick kind of lip balm or lip gloss. It will stay on your lips for a really long time. You don't have to keep reapplying. So far, of all the things we've opened today, these three little cookie ones are winning. So happy I found these. These were the best, glossiest bombs or lip glosses ever. They had such original scents, coffee, chocolate, passion fruit, and stay tuned because in my next lip balm bonanza I'm going to be showing these three. This was the other set I found and the scents are sweet apple, strawberry candy, and vanilla marshmallow. <laughs> Cannot wait for those. I found a little ELF eyes lip face. I actually love this brand. It's super inexpensive. Usually things are between a dollar and three dollars. I think this was three and I've never seen it before. It's called the Gotta Glow Lip Tint in Perfect Pink. I got this because I wasn't exactly sure if it's a lip gloss or a lipstick. Kind of looks like a lipstick case, but we're going to find out. And I just thought it looked so, so pretty with this clear container. Here it is. Ooh, look at that pink color. <laughs> it looks really light, almost like a lip balm. Let's see if it gives any color. Ooh, and it does. You can see each side of my hand. This one is without. This one has it. Wow, that's really, really pretty. Almost looks exactly like the Baby Lips one. Very sheer. It's kind of between a lipstick, lip gloss, and lip balm. And it's kind of like all three in one. It's got a light color, yet it's very glossy. And I love this pretty container. It's silvery. Super fancy. It says, this unique lip tint reacts with the chemistry of your lips to deliver a personalized shade of pink, enhancing the natural color of your lips. The gel-based formula glides on smoothly, infused with shea butter to moisture and nourish. Ooh. <laughs> and I guess that's the color it would turn on my lips. I am loving that. <laughs> it's really the perfect shade. a little bit different. I have a couple lip glosses that look like this, but it's actually a lip scrub. <laughs> and it's from a Korean beauty line. I'm not sure if it's Tony Moly. I'm not really sure of the brand, 
but I cannot wait to see it inside. I haven't opened it yet. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> it really is a scrub, kind of like the apricot one, the St. Ives that people use on their face to take off the dead skin. I guess you just put this on your lips, scrub it around. It takes all the yucky skin off, makes them super smooth. So when you apply your gloss or your lipstick, your lips are just baby smooth. And if you scrub it like this, it feels like little grains of sand. Oh, it feels really good and relaxing. I love scrubs. I use sugar scrubs on my body. I use it on my face. And I guess now I'm going to be using it on my lips. Oh, it smells really good too. To tell you the truth, it looks and smells like oatmeal. It's got like a really, really kind of oatmeal scent. Very fresh and natural. This is my first ever lip scrub and I have to say I love it. <laughs> I think it's a perfect little treat to add to your lip gloss collection. It's just like a nice little thing to do before you put on your gloss or balm. Get scrub your lips, make them nice and smooth. I love this little container it's in with these big pink lips. Too cool. Now this one, as soon as I saw it, I just had to have it. It reminded me of little Pooh Bear's honey jar. And I think that's what it's supposed to be. It's called Skin Food. It's another Korean beauty line. And it is just the most amazing little package ever. Look at it. It's got the little wooden stick, I guess, to apply. It's got this beautiful golden top. It doesn't actually have a scent or flavor on here, but I am just guessing it's honey. It looks like pure honey. Gotta try this. It smells so, so good. It smells like the yummiest honey ever. It even has a little bit of an apple scent to it. I don't know why it kind of smells like apples and honey together. And you can use this cute little stick to apply. Ooh, I still have pink. I cannot get the pink off of my hands from all the bombs we've been trying. Ooh, look at that. That is so, so smooth. Just a clear color, doesn't have any sparkles or any kind of tint to it, but I just can't say enough good things about it. It's It looks like honey. I, who would not want something like this? And when you put it on your lips, oh, it's so, so smooth, so sweet. You can just stick this little stick right back on the side. Another cute one for the collection. Here we go, we have three little ice cream ones and look at the pack, it just got all those sprinkles. Oh, that is making me so hungry right now. So of course I picked these up at Claire's at the mall and we get three different flavors, grape, blueberry, and strawberry. They look so cute in this little package, but we gotta pop them out and test them. Oh, and even as much as the lip balms, I'm loving this box. It looks like it's filled with sprinkles, just some kind of an illusion. Wish I had a notebook that looked like that. First one up is this pretty purple and it's grape. <laughs> grape is not like the most usual ice cream flavor, but it's got this cute little picture of a cone on there. And ooh, I think we can push these up. How do these? Ooh, they spin up just like a regular chapstick. There's a the purple color. Of course it's gonna be clear. Ooh, smells just like grapes. Grape soda, grape juice, really good scent. I'm not crazy about the texture of the balm. It's, it's just like a regular chapstick. All of the other ones we've been trying today are so silky smooth. This is a little bit rough, but <laughs> the containers are just so cute. I'll take it. So we get a turquoise blueberry ice cream. Ooh, look at that cute little cone on there with the cherry. Claire's has the cutest little lip balms and makeups ever. And here it is. Twist it up, give it a little smell. Doesn't smell so much like blueberry, doesn't really smell like ice cream either. It's just kind of like a plain balm. Not too crazy about it. But it's just so precious looking. Third and final is strawberry. Ooh, look at this pretty pink. It's got another cone on there. Ooh, my hands are so slippery. <laughs> I tried out about a million glosses today. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Look at that. And hopefully we give you a little tint to your lips. The other two were clear. Ooh, it actually does. <laughs> I like it. This is the best scent so far. 
Oh, it's super strong. It smells like strawberry ice cream. A little bit creamy and I love, love the color. So out of all three of these, this is the winner. Oh, and we are still going. We still have a couple more little lip products to look at before we organize them in that pretty little tray. This one is Lip Love. Here's a close up of these Lip Love sticks and they come in all different flavors and shades. Gotta try them. Here's a close up of these Lip Loves and I am loving them. <laughs> I'm loving this cute little black package with all the little writing. Kind of reminds me of Victoria's Secret. So we get Sweet Vanilla, Juicy Peach, Pink Grapefruit, ooh that's different, Fruit Punch, and Ripe Cherry. I wonder if they have any color. I'm gonna start with the Sweet Vanilla. Now this one has a light pink. So similar to a lot of the ones we've tried today. And, ooh, it does have a little shade to it. Super light. Oh, it smells so, so good. <laughs> it smells like vanilla sugar cookies. Really, really good. Did not expect that. Second one up kind of looks orange and it's Juicy Peach. It's got a really different color than all the bombs we tried today. Try on this hand. <laughs> I've used this hand all day. We'll do a different one. Does it have color? Actually, this one is just completely sheer. I thought it would have a little bit of a bronzy glow. Oh, it smells good though. <laughs> it smells exactly like peaches. Not as good as a sweet vanilla, but it smells really citrusy and fruity. Another good one. Third one up is kind of like an orangey, pinkish red. Can't really tell the color. It is pink grapefruit. Mmm. Oh, whoa. <laughs> this smells like a mix between grapefruit and some kind of like soap or one of those hand sanitizers. It smells so, so good. Really, really good. Almost like a fresh and clean scent. And does it have color? Yeah, it actually does. Kind of like a pink glow. So I'm going to have my favorite pink glow like for two years with all of these because they pretty much all have the same color between the baby lips and these ones. I just love that. Here is this super dark pink, almost like a neon fuchsia color. Fruit punch. Woo! Ooh, that's strong. It doesn't smell like fruit punch though. It smells like perfume or some kind of flowers. And, hmm, <laughs> pretty much the same exact color as this one. Final one, ooh, this looks like a super dark red. Look at that. I gave this one a little smell and woo, it beats all four of these. It is so good. The scent is ripe cherry. It smells exactly like one of those little Italian ices, those cherry ices or a snow cone. It is so, so strong. Really love it. My second favorite is still the vanilla sweet sugar. Ooh, and it does give color. Probably the darkest color of all of them. Oh, I cannot wait to wear this. <laughs> I'm going to be smelling it all day. So, so good. Here's another close-up of those five lip balms or glosses, whatever they are. I love them. My favorite was the cherry. My second favorite was the sweet vanilla. The ones in between were also good, and they did have like a pink satin finish to them. Ooh wee! That was a lot of lip product. And we are on to our final two before we start organizing it. These two are just single ones and they're kind of different. The first is called All Glossed Up Hydrate and Lip Stain by Hard Candy. I've had these in other colors. They are so, so good. And this one is like a purplish color with sparkles. It was so different. It looked really, really good. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Look at this color, you guys. It's called Mystic number 921 from the Heart Candy line, and it is just beautiful. It has so much shine, and there are millions and millions of pieces of this sparkle purpley glitter in there, if you can see it. It's just so good. It's not too dark, so you can wear this every day. I am loving it. So happy I picked that color. It's kind of not my regular pick. I go for the pinky ones, but the purple was amazing. Loved it. 
the last one of this whole opening and I found it at Claire's. It was actually only $2 and it was called Wow. <laughs> I don't know if that's the brand. I'm not too sure. It looked kind of cute. It looked like a lipstick. It's called Claire's Sheer and Scented Lipstick. Ooh, I wonder what scent it is. Another thing that caught my eye with this, it looks like jelly. Doesn't that look like jello? <laughs> it's got the coolest, coolest look to it. Wow. And it's sheer, of course. But it just has the most awesome texture. Let me smell it. it smells like candy, like a strawberry or lollipop. Super sweet. Even looks like a lollipop. If you look at it, it's got that clear kind of jelly look. I love it. It's just so different. And boom! There you go. 26 different lip glosses and balms. Also different. Uh, I cannot believe I found all of these on pretty much the same shopping trip. I went to a bunch of different stores and each one is cuter than the next. They smell so good. Most of them all have that pink glow, but that is my actual favorite lip tint of any color, so I don't mind. Anna found this one on the same shopping trip. I thought it would be so cute to just line all of these lip glosses up and display them. I think these are also for makeup, so you can put like blushes, you can put your brushes in there, different lipsticks, but today it's all for lip balm. Our organizer is filled to the brim. So many cute things in here and it just fit. I had to throw these little kisses in there, but they made it. We are gonna have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. This is Bubble Pop Kids. You can click this big red subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day, bye.